G'day and welcome back to 3 Minute Thursday where we teach you a tip or trick about welding. Yes, 3 minutes isn't normal, but for this topic we'd like to take a deeper dive into the specifics and make it easier to follow along. We'll be doing these longer episodes every now and again, so stay tuned, but enough talk, so let's get started. Today, we'll talk about welding dissimilar metals with the TIG process, more commonly stainless steel to low carbon steel. We'll go in depth on the correct filler wire to use, as well as some background knowledge on why we use certain filler wire, and finally, the correct tungsten type and preparation associated with this process. So welding stainless steel to low carbon steel isn't ideal at all, but in some circumstances it's necessary for the requirements of the job at hand. When we join dissimilar metals, mild steel TIG rod is out of the question and should not be considered at all. The reason behind this is that the solidified weld will form martensite, which has low ductility and has the potential to leave your weld with a crack over time. Also resulting in rusting corrosion, especially if it's intended for outdoor use. Instead, we opt for 309 stainless steel TIG rod. It has a high ferrite content, which lowers weld dilution and in turn prevents cracking. 309 TIG rod has a low carbon content and a high silicon content. The silicon assists in deoxidizing and removing impurities from the weld puddle and also improving the weld puddle fluidity. When you're choosing a tungsten electrode, there's a couple of options. Thoriated tungstens, which have a red tip, were the go-to when welding on DC. But these electrodes are radioactive, containing 2% thorium and can be hazardous when sharpening. So the safer options are the grey tipped seriated or the gold tipped lanthanated. The electrode will need to be sharpened to a point on the bench grinder. Same as if you were applying it to any other DC process. As another tip, I would recommend using a gas lens with a bigger cup. Simply because the gas coverage will assist in keeping impurities out of the whirlpool while it's still in its fluid state. And while a standard setup will cause turbulence, a gas lens gives you that even gas flow and wider coverage. Lastly, but a very important step to keep in mind is make sure you clean your weld joint before welding. Remove or mill scale using a grinder and a flap disc. Take it down to bare metal and clean both the stainless and the mild steel with a solvent to ensure a clean joint ready for welding. You're now ready to weld. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week for another 30 second or 3 minute Thursday.